Well, this is the actual spring that we're gonna to try to capture. And it's coming out from up underneath this overhang that we're gonna dig out. If we look down here, you can see the flow that we're dealing with. We got a pretty good flow. And this is the very head of the entire creek. We'll go down there and probably capture another one. But there's two or three, I think there's six people have uh, water rights to this thing. So this one here, spring head, as you can see where this black pipe was captured, they just stacked some rocks on it and let it float in and it would get clogged up. So now we're gonna dig this thing out and kind of do it right and keep it critter proof and hopefully protect it from mud slides. So right underneath this rock is where all the water's coming out of from here to here. So we're gonna put the dam from over here all the way across. And what it consists of is a piece of this 55 gallon barrel cut down. We'll go over in detail on how to do that. And two connections for the water to come out. And then two pipes with holes in it. They'll be turned down to let the water come in. And the top one, of course, is the overflow, and the bottom is the one that will actually go to the water tank. Okay, with it tapped in, we took a shovel and cut this line with a shovel to make sure there's no big rocks in the way. And of course, right now, it's still going around the ends and everything else. There is a little bit of water coming out the bottom of the hole, but just remember, the one going to the house is the most important. The overflow is there. Anything above this overflow, you'll see in a minute, it just means more rocks you got to pile in there. And you're not going to capture any more water. What you want to do is the outflow of the pipe. You want that at the surface level or below. Because you don't want to dam the water up behind it. Because then water will take a path of least resistance and it might come out through another rock. And then come out over here somewhere or something like that. So you kind of want the water to fall down into the dam like it's doing now. Everything that you're gonna seal with is gonna be on the spring side of the dam wall. We're gonna use some bentonite clay, but we gotta pack the front end with dirt to hold the dam wall up straight and rocks. Don't try to seal inside with rocks. All that does is create a void for the water to flow through. That's all that's doing. So what I've dug right here alongside the spring is I dug a hole, got down below the root layer, because what you want is no roots, no organic material in your spring, because all it's going to do is rot down. This right here that you see right here is bentonite clay. This is the granular bentonite clay. This is what well drillers use sealing up the wells so surface water can't run down. This is what's below the cement grout and then up at top keep surface water from contaminating your well easiest way i found take this take a shovel mix it up and when you put it in on the dam wall it's got the clay soil with it well here's what it looks like this is about five minutes and i don't know if it'll quite pick up little specks of gray here and there that's the bentonite clay which is fine but I put some heavy rocks up there to hold the dam wall back. Even with packing this dirt up here. If you can see, you can see how clean the water's running already. It's settled down that much. But what I like to do is put a thin little piece of plastic on the very bottom. Then we're going to put washed gravel on top of that to the top of the dam wall. And we're going to bring the black poly pipe down here after we stretch it and get the memory out of it and the way I like to do it is heat it up with a torch a little bit it'll slide right on it's a whole lot easier that way than twisting back and forth and damaging the integrity of the dam wall okay I got the spring ready to go and now we're going to hook this one inch supply line to go down to the water cistern but if anybody has ever tried to unroll one of them things in the woods 
and fight it trying to get it to lay down and do everything uh it's a chore it's a chore so right now what i do is i unroll it tie the front end off to a tree and this end here is just on a plain old ratchet strap and you don't have to pull it tight just snug it up about 10 minutes in the sunshine and it's a whole lot easier to pull this straight piece of pipe it'll bend right around the trees than it is to try to fight and unroll that monster with all the memory in it just stretching in this little bit of heat will take the memory out of the pipe what i did i just took a simple propane torch just barely heated up the ends of it and they slide right on real easy real simple well about one more bucket of wash gravel away from getting that thing full and then what i like to put right on the top is this little creation and it's got holes in it and it'll kind of sit in there just like that and what that does is in the future if you think it needs to be cleaned out or sanitized you can then pour bleach water in that thing and which would clean from the spring all the way down to the cistern most commercial places just put it right here in the pipe and i don't know how that's supposed to flow back in the spring but maybe they're just trying to sanitize the pipe but i want to clean the spring so all it is is a t same thing couple pieces of one inch with holes in it you'll unscrew this cap and pour bleach water or uh, hydrogen peroxide or whatever you prefer to sanitize with here it is in place covers on it we're gonna start filling it in with dirt when we get done we're gonna knock down part of this hill right over top of it try to get it solid and this way see if we have to we'll extend that pipe up out of the dirt and basically that there and then of course the overflow line and the supply line are the only things you'll see coming out of this thing when it is complete well there it is we're going to keep pulling down some more of this bank looking at it i think we're going to go ahead and add a little bit to the sanitizing pipe and uh like i said this here back here is where they had the original whole spring just had an open spring with critters in it and everything else but this is sealed no critters no salamanders no spring lizards nothing gets in there And there's still another little spring coming out over here and but this is the head of the creek still plenty of water for animals we're going to go down to where the cistern is going to sit and do a little work down there well this is below the spring of course right up here is the spring and this is the pipe coming down we come back we're going to take it off of all the dead wood everything laying in here get it down in the water level or in the spring this is somebody else's little spring and we're going to get this thing laying down but right down here i'll show you we're going to take it out of the creek bed and go up on the land so it comes in the top of the cistern gravity flow well this is going to conclude the spring video for right now i'm about running out of time on my camera so the next video part two is going to be setting this tank hooking the pump up and showing you how to keep the pump off the bottom of the tank and how to use a pressurized this pumps it up the hill so as usual, if you need any help, anything projects like this, or just advice, don't hesitate to yell, holler, and scream at me. My information, email, everything's there at the beginning. Uh, see you on the next one, and look forward to part two.